It just happens to be a very well-thumbed page on the mechanics of assembling and disassembling a master brake cylinder. Let me see that. And that's it. This is how David learned to take the valve out of the car. It's in your room, Miss Winters. I know. <sighs> Elizabeth, I'm going to throw you out that window. And we are back wrapping up this week's uh, watch of Dark Shadows. We watched three episodes of the original Supernatural soap opera every Saturday morning on our YouTube channel. Uh, I am Joel Sharpton, one half of the Articulate Coven. If you're interested in these videos and you want to get some more faster, you can join our Patreon, articulatecoven.com slash join. $2 or more a month gets you access to everything we do early and ad-free, including these Patreon videos. Right now, let's jump into this episode. It's episode 27. Can't believe that we're this far. The men who founded the Collins Fortune were pioneers. Some 300 years ago, as Roger reminded us in the last episode. David, are you hiding in here? If David got in and took that bleeder valve, Victoria, he is out the house, is my guess. Carolyn, this is serious. Oh, come on. He's only one nine-year-old boy. The world is full of them. How many of them try to commit murder? <laughs> All right, that's a good cold open. That's a good one. All right, there's five of these a week. So we're on a, this is like a Wednesday episode, Tuesday episode, I guess. So we shouldn't have a big uh, reveal here necessarily. Just what did he do? It might be better if she told you. Well, did he try to set the house on fire or? Well, she doesn't believe you currently, Victoria. So maybe you should just tell it. With everyone around here but you and me thinking Bert tried to kill... Is that what you were talking about? David? Yes. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, it's true. I mean, I know it's extreme, but like you said yourself, the kid's a menace. You were talking about how if he's hiding good, leave him alone. You got it too well off. You know that kid's a creep. So, like, if she's telling you, hey, I think maybe David did it, like, don't be, don't act flabbergasted. You're talking about a kid tampering with the brakes on his own father's car. Yes. I know. That's what we're talking about. My mother hasn't left the place in 18 years. My little cousin tries to kill his own father. These walls shouldn't be paneled, Vicky. They should be padded. I'm telling you, I love Carolyn. I don't know why she's so positive and bubbly and, like, bright in the middle of this darkness and gloom. But, like, yeah. If he tampered with those brakes, I gave him the chance to do it. That part is over But now. it didn't. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and step out on a limb here and say that uh, Elizabeth and David are not going to be featured in this episode at all. Because we've, we've got Carolyn and Victoria, and now we're going to get whoever this is. So my guess is this is uh, Bert Devlin and uh, his man, Bronson. It's good to see you, Mr. Devlin. <clears throat> How are you, Bronson? Fine. How was your trip? Well, not bad after New York. Takeoff is a bit shaky. Yeah, let me take your coat. Uh, all right. Hey! Okay, okay, I got to look this guy up. Because the Bronson there is... Um, he is the grandpa from the Lost Boys. Come on, give me grandpa. Barnard Hughes. Barnard Hughes. He was in a ton of stuff, man. He was in Doc Hollywood. He was in, um, uh, let's see, a movie called Best Friends with, with uh, Burt Reynolds. He was in Rage from 1972. He was in A Hobo's Christmas. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. But yes, he was the uh, he was the grandpa in the Lost Boys. He was in Sister Act and Sister Act Two. He was in Tron. I don't remember him in Tron. Wow, he's been in a ton of stuff. Uh, anyway, Barnard Hughes, great actor. Fun to see him in this. This is a long time ago. Bronson, I thought it was clear. I don't want you coming near me in Collinsport. 
Well, I only meant that. And as far as anyone's concerned, you're handling this business. I have nothing to do with it. And the day that Elizabeth Stoddard or Roger Collins or anyone in that family connect you with me, that's the day you start looking for another job. <laughs> Cheers. From that line to cheers, I mean, I guess I, I'm going to need this drink now. And the door opened just a little bit. We wondered who it was. I dropped my keys. I had to stop and pick them up. Did you find David? No. Well, he's not in there. Miss Winters, let's go in your room. I'd like to talk to you. Y'all just going to leave the door unlocked and open? To the part of the house that you say is always closed and locked? Nobody noticed that? Mickey, where did you get this? Why? Well, it just happens to be a very well-thumbed page on the mechanics of assembling and disassembling a master brake cylinder. Let me see that. And that's it. This is how David learned to take the valve out of the car. It's in your room, Miss Winters. I know. <sighs> Elizabeth, I'm going to throw you out that window. So I was wrong about Elizabeth not being in this episode, by the way, but that's our five actors. That's all we're going to get. David won't be in this one. I'm going to do a job on that family. I want to hit them so hard they'll wish they never heard of me. <laughs> I think they already don't. Uh, I think they already wish they'd never heard of you, Burke. Um, man. Okay. So Burke must pay super well. Cause Bronson is like incredibly happy to do this job, even though Burke's being a real, uh, shit to him. Uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a bad boss. That's my opinion on how Burke manages people. Well, if I knew where I wouldn't be calling you. Well, he's your son and he was very much upset. All I want you to do is get home as soon as you can. All right. Goodbye. Useless. Well, the good news is uh, David hasn't had a chance to destroy his current brakes. Oh, good. Yes, I see. Thank you. What? When? Oh, yes. Oh, well, yes, thank you very much. A warrant's been served, I guess. That seems to be my day, Bronson. Not only the sheriff, but the clerk tells me they caught someone trying to sneak into my room. A thief? No. Roger Collins. A little boy. Oh, a little boy. I'll be in touch. David was going to freaking plant the bleeder valve in Burke's room? Jesus. Okay. All right. Excellent finish to that episode. I genuinely did not see him trying. How did he get to town? How did David go to town? Oh, God, this show. All right, guys. Uh, excellent work by uh, 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 Stuart Bronson there, our uh, Barnard Hughes. I love that actor. Great addition to the show. Always like when we get a new face. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos and thanks to everybody who's been watching them, don't forget you can get everything that we do early and ad free, including next week's episode. That'll take you on up to, uh, episode 30 of dark shadows. You can get those right now at articulatecoven.com slash join $2 or more a month. And you get access to everything early and ad free. Thanks. And we'll be back soon with more episodes of dark shadows, more of everything else. You can check it all out. Articulatecoven.com.